darlings, welcome back to Dining Through the Decades. My name is Sage Lillyman and today is actually the last and final episode of the cooking show. So we're going to be making something extra special today. We're making cream puffs and chocolate eclairs. And as always, I'll leave the recipe in the description box below so you guys can make them as well. And this video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later. Let's get baking. Okay, the first step is we're going to put our pot on the stove and add a cup of boiling water in here. And to that cup of boiling water, we're going to add half a cup of butter. And we're just going to melt this around with a wooden spoon until it's all dissolved. Okay, now that the butter is completely dissolved, we can add our flour into that. So I've got a little bit of salt in with the flour and we're going to vigorously stir this together and keep stirring until it kind of forms into a dough ball. And I've taken this off the heat as well. All right, now that we have our ball of dough here, we're going to be putting this into our bowl here and adding one egg at a time into that. And we're going to keep blending that together until it forms like a very gelatinous consistency and it will be strung between the beaters and the bowl. And it'll be lovely and bright yellow. So let's get started. So the dough in there. And then we're going to be adding one egg at a time. I'm gonna crack the eggs in separately to make sure that I don't get any shell in. All right, I'm gonna add my egg in and blend it all together. I just realized that I need a bigger bowl, so I'm just gonna transfer this into here. out the beaters and I'm just going to mix this by hand now it's getting a little bit out of hand there was mixture flying everywhere so just mixing this really thoroughly so all of the egg is combined and you want it to be really stringy and sticky like this and that way you'll have the perfect eclairs mixture is all ready we can put it into our piping bag here and then we're just going to cut the nozzle off once it's all filled up. This might get a bit messy. <laughs> I'm just going to cut off the nozzle here and I'm going to pipe out Now you want to make sure to leave space between these because they're going to spread out quite a bit at the end. I originally was using the little spiral nozzle on this piping bag but <laughs> it was really hard to push out of the bag. You're not going to notice the ridges and the weird shapes of these little eclairs. Once we put them in the oven they'll expand and they'll look really tasty. To shape the eclairs they're in a bit of an oval about three inches and the cream puffs are going to be in more of a circle um, you can use your spoon to do that or just drop them straight on or use the piping bag. And so yeah, mine look a little bit messy, okay, a lot messy. But um, hopefully they're going to 
kind of even out in the oven and yeah. Okay, I'm ready to put these in the oven now and these are gonna go in a very high oven for about 15 minutes. And after the 15 minutes, we're going to take those out, turn it down to a bit more of a lower heat and then keep them in for about 35 minutes. And while the eclairs are baking in the oven, let's talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. It is a great place to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare has multiple classes covering the topics of photography, illustration, productivity, lifestyle, and many more. And if you've been enjoying the baking in this week's episode, then I think you will enjoy Laurie Shannon's class, Cookie Decorating for Beginners. Create incredible edible art. It is a quick and well presented one hour and six minute class that takes you from basic cookie flooding to full decorations. Flooding, by the way, is the process of layering the top of your cookie with flood icing. I had no idea how to do it before joining Laurie's class. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thanks Skillshare, now back to the baking. All right, the eclairs have been in the oven for 15 minutes at a high temperature. We're just going to turn the temperature down now and we're gonna have a look and see what they look like. I'm gonna swap the trays around because our oven has a slightly different temperature. So the top cooks more than the bottom. So I'm just gonna swap these. They look like scones or something. They're huge. They're gonna be some tasty eclairs though. All right, I've got my little makeshift double boiler here. If you have a proper double boiler, that's a little bit better. You might have a bit more room. But I'm going to put into here some cold milk and also sugar, corn flour, and a dash of salt. And we're going to mix this together and add some scalding milk into this as well and just keep stirring. All right, we're just gonna stir this and gradually add the hot milk in, little bit by little bit until it starts to thicken. Okay, the eclairs are all done. Let's take them out of the oven and see how they look. Ooh, they look really good. And now I'm just gonna take a knife and slice through those so it's on a little bit of a hinge so it's still attached. I'm gonna be honest, they don't look as aesthetically pleasing as maybe professionals, but <laughs> these are homemade, so I'm sure they taste better. They look really nice, lovely and homemade, and they're very hot. Careful not to burn your fingers. Now that we've cut open our little eclairs and little cream puffs, we can then start to fill them up. So you can either put ice cream or whipped cream into the eclairs, and then we can put a chocolate frosting on top. Or in these little cream puffs, we are going to put our custard that we've just made, our pudding. And you can put chocolate on top as well. I think I'm gonna do that just so they taste all extra yummy. Let's get on to making the chocolate frosting. Custard is all done here, or pudding I should say. And I'm just going to add a little bit, about half a teaspoon of vanilla into here. And then just mix that through. And that's all ready. That's been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes with the lid on and off the heat. And that's just allowed it to thicken up and it's a lovely consistency. And I can't wait to try it. Okay, so that's all done. Now I've got about a tablespoon of butter and a few squares of chocolate and some vanilla in here. And I'm actually going to add in a 
a little bit of water as well and we're going to heat that up and I'm just going to pop that in the microwave. Okay, this is all melted now. So we can add this into our bowl here and add in a cup of confectioner's sugar as well, which is icing sugar. Got our icing sugar here and now we're just going to mix this together. Okay, we've got the eclairs and we've got all of our toppings so we're ready to plate up now little cream puff here. I'm going to add some of our cornstarch pudding. I'll pop it on the plate here and I'll add a little bit of the frosting, the chocolate frosting on the top. That looks so good. Alright, another little puff here. Alright, let's make a little eclair now. So I'm going to be putting some ice cream in here. You can also put whipped cream, but we chose to get some vanilla ice cream. sauce on top and then we can taste test. I've got James here to do some taste testing with me. So, you have the first taste test. Have the ice cream one. They're looking pretty, pretty good. <laughs> all the ice cream's almost all melted, so we've got to eat it quick. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh... It's actually, honestly, so much better than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's incredibly messy, but it's really good. So good. They're so nice. I was thinking that it would be kind of dry, but honestly, the the consistency it's like a little bit crispy on the outside, but kind of soft and gooey and ice creamy in the middle. It's really nice. Yay! <laughs> it's good, hey? How about that? This is a cream puff. The cream puff, the custard looks so nice. Oh. What one do you prefer? Oh, this one. Really? This one is so much more decadent. The custard is like, <laughs> it's, it's like pure custard. <laughs> mm. That is so good. We have way too many, we can't eat them all. <laughs> Please someone take them off our hands. Thank you so much for watching the last and final episode of Dining Through the Decades. That was how to make chocolate eclairs and cream puffs. They were absolutely delicious and I don't know how we're going to eat them all. I mean like we'll get through them really fast but... <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for these cooking episodes for the past six weeks. It's meant so much to me waking up every Sunday morning and doing a live premiere with you guys and having a bit of a chat. I've had so much fun filming this cooking show, so let me know if you'd like to see another era of cooking for Dining Through the Decades in the future. We'll be back to regular uploads next week, so I'll see you then. Bye! Oh, why? Oh, why?